It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, it'll be the Portland Trail Blazers up against the Philadelphia 76ers. Taking a look at the 76ers, coming into tonight, a couple of goals they have. Stay aggressive on both ends, but also play with efficiency. It's a delicate balance, but they know it's the key to playing their best ball. And I'll tell you, tell two me. tremendous defenses tonight. Yes. Uh, it's going to be hard for either team to uh, put up any points. That's why you got to stay patient. Man. You can't just jack up shots. Every bucket is going to matter. Don't force shots. Just run your offense. Make sure everyone touches it. Make the defense work because they are willing to work. And you got to pound the offensive glass, create second chance opportunities, and you got to try to get those easy buckets in transition. Hey, uh, so you see, so you got to be patient. Yes, I, I got a joke for you. <laughs> I got a joke for you. Okay, got it. Okay, it's a knock. I'm ready. Knock. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. All right. Knock knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Impatient cow. Impatient Move. cow. <laughs> <laughs> you could see the cow yeah. said move he before was so the impatient. Joke was yeah. he said move before yeah, you asked it. Right. that's move 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 2k sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the nba And it's the 76ers coming in from out of town in this one. An interconference game today. We're live from Portland where the Trailblazers have home court advantage. It's the NBA and it's live right here on 2K Sports. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry and our sideline reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. And let's go straight over to David Aldridge for a report before the tip-off. Hey Dave. Well, guys, Ben Simmons grew up playing Australian rules football. It may be one reason he's so comfortable attacking defenses and creating. He said, you have to read the defenders, draw them, then get rid of it. Otherwise, you're going to get tackled. Well, that's a foul in the NBA, but I understand his sentiment, guys. And David, he is not shy about contact at all. Thanks. And featuring two of the best bigs in the league, Brent, how impactful is the center position now compared to the way it used to be? Well, one of the things that I think people are still dealing with is just how divergently different the center position has become in the game. And to think that these guys, in what they're asked to do, has just as much importance of the Patrick Ewings, the nice Akeem game, Elijah huh? ones, the low post, big time scorers back to the basket. The modern day center, Kevin, isn't doing that. It's a roll to the basket, rim protection game. And there are some elite ones doing it now. Wired a little bit differently than guys of the past. They have to be. On top of that, some of the teams are even asking those players, obviously, to step out and shoot the three-point shot. So modern day game, modern day play. Mm. Look at the 76ers starting group. Simmons is out there with Josh Richardson. Then it's Joel Embiid. Then there's Harris. And it's Horford in at the four. And Simmons has got the ball here for the 76ers. He kicks to Richardson. Back to Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. I like seeing Josh Richardson distribute the ball, especially when his teammates are wide open. That makes for an easy pass. Alert against Simmons. Inside to the right side. Lillard from outside. Simmons pulls it in. Well, it's like the defense has a bunch of matchbooks in their hands right now, playing with fire. They were fortunate that somehow he misfired on that one. And the foul called on Hassan Whiteside. That is his first foul of the game. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Here's Simmons. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Rodney Hood. And the Australian Simmons, a star in the making, folks. Thanks really in part to that tremendous skill set. 
to go along with that gigantic frame. And Ben Simmons, who missed the first season in the NBA with an injury, boy, Greg, was he worth the wait. Uh, and you knew he'd be a special kind of player after being taken first overall. But, but he is so unique in how great of a player he is. His ability to command attention on offense without having a great outside shot really is something you just don't see in today's NBA. And that one misses. Second free throw, good. Lillard with it. Pass to McCollum. Collins with it, and it's Horford picking him up. Pass to Lillard. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Lillard's got his first bucket in this one. Yeah, this is the kind of shot selection that you got to be on board with with Lillard. Tenacious scorer. But I love the efficient opportunity there. Here's Simmons. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. Simmons got five points so far. For Portland, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. And Lillard kicks to Whiteside. Now the dish to McCollum. Lillard looking around. Just five on the clock. C.J. McCollum. And that's good. McCollum's got himself on the board with three there. Well, he knows how to get the shot off at any time on that pick and roll. Natural instincts taking over, and the experience helping McCollum as well. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. He didn't need to fade back. No one in his face, but he buried it anyway. The Trailblazers have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Simmons against Lillard. And the pass to McCollum. Over Simmons. McCollum, no good. Yeah, the defense cannot afford to be that lazy. You got to be up on the shooters at all times, especially at the mid range. Out to Harris. In the corner, it's Richardson. Doubled by McCollum. And Harris, wide open. He shoots at three off the mark. Portland's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. McCollum finds Lillard. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. Well, compact and strong Lillard using his frame and still finishes. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Stolen by Collins. McCollum against Richardson. Cullen passes to Hood. Shot from 16. They get it again. Right side. Good D by Embiid. Just tentative in the paint. Lacking a little bit of confidence. Allowed the defender to recover and contest that shot. Fast break. Here come the Trailblazers. Here's Hood. And the rejection by Embiid. McCollum against Richardson. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It goes on C.J. McCollum. And Josh Richardson at the University of Tennessee was a pre-med student. Plans on becoming a surgeon. But when the NBA became a possibility, he said he had to switch to an easier major. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of spending four hours a day studying, he put that time into the gym. The uh, terrific defender in college was the two-time All-SEC defensive player. And with the newfound focus on basketball, he has blossomed as a scorer. First free throw is good. Well, a lot to love about the Blazers' 2017-18 season, but it ended on a very sour note. Well, they were a surprise third team in the West last year. It was so tightly grouped. Uh, things shook out for Portland to end up with home court advantage, but eventually swept out of the playoffs by a Pelican team that just played at breakneck speed. So getting swept was really hard for the Blazers. They did a lot of good things last year, developed time out, time out. Zach Collins in the later part of the season. But we'll see this year if they make some changes in order to have something more dynamic that they can offer up. 
So timeout called here. The first for Portland. Here's McCollum over Richardson, and the basket by McCollum. McCollum's got five points so far. I, I'm sure that's on the scouting report to not let him catch and shoot. With McCollum's marksmanship, that's easy money. And Simmons kicks to Horford. Passes it to Harris. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Harris has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Portland trailing here. The elbow, it's white side. Ball's knocked loose. Pass to Richardson. Looking for Harris. He gets it there. Great tee that time from Hood. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. That's a two from Lillard. And the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. And Simmons has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. Thirteen feet away. And it's Hassan Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Embiid with the block. Simmons on the wing. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Damian Lillard. And sometimes you have no chance at stopping Simmons from the interior. Just a very skilled player who gets these calls routinely. The 76ers have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. And he makes the first. He's perfect from the line this time. The Trailblazers have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Here is Lillard. Six points for him. McCollum deciding where to go with it. Shot clock at five. Here's Collins. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Now the 76ers on the break. Here's Harris. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Harris has got five now. Oh, Tobias just going strong that time. Lillard on top, guarded by Simmons, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by MB. Kent Bazemore is checked in for Hood. Right side finds Bazemore. That's a two from Lillard, and it's blocked by Simmons. And don't forget about the long reach that Simmons possesses. That he uses it exceptionally well on defense to come away with blocks like that. 
it's hard to believe that he's a point guard. I mean, he can power those dunks down as well as any big man in the league. If not better, if not better, he's a phenomenal finisher. No doubt. His success converting around the rim is largely due to the one thing he does better than most, and that is fly. So many modern offenses no longer rely on a point guard to initiate the play. Tell us a little bit more. Walk us through that, that process. I, I think a lot of teams, Kevin, are, are getting more towards motion offenses, almost playing in a secondary break where you've either coming off a score, you're coming down the floor, the point guard gets off the ball, and with all the players moving around and with the multifaceted skill set of your small forward and your power forward who's now playing at the point, distributing the ball, setting screens, DHO, because of that skill set, you don't really have the heavy reliance on point guard domination with the basketball, setting up every play, and being the only playmaker on the floor. Now you have three and sometimes four getting that job done. Mario Hizonias checked in for the Trailblazers. Here's Lillard. He's got six. McCollum outside. From outside, off the mark. The 76ers leading by five. Harris outside. The basket is good. That's his sixth attempt and his third make. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Here's Lillard. He dishes it to Bazemore. Lock at six. McCollum. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. I like the defensive effort. They did a good job altering the mid-range shot and then making the shooter feel a bit uneasy. And right now, the game plan seems to be working. It looks like this team has finally gotten into the club and found its rhythm, trying their best to pull away. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Lillard dishes to McCollum. Over Richardson. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. And that's now seven points for C.J. McCollum. Simmons on the wing. Covered by Lillard. Shots good by Simmons. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. Lillard from outside. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Embiid's got six rebounds in the game. Harris inside. He's covered by Bazemore. A nice shot by Harris. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. And Lillard kicks to McCullough. Pass to Azania. Back to McCollum. Over Richardson. McCollum, no good. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Embiid against Whiteside. Embiid, the pass to Horford. Over his own young. Here's Embiid, and Embiid throws it down. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific offensive performance. And if you check out the strategy, you can see already the plays that they're calling. Feels like they found a weakness or two in the defense. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got eight rebounds in this game. And you know what? He's just not on his game, no doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. The 76ers shooting their 7th and 8th attempts at the foul line tonight. That's good from Harris. Man, they are just living at the line. Pau Gasol, he's checked in for Portland. Banished one comes in for McCollum. Back 
that one falls, so he hits both of them. Tobias Harris in his eighth season in the NBA and still just 26 years old. Yeah, well, I mean, one season at Tennessee, and he has slowly but steadily improved each year. And, you know, he's gotten stronger, more consistent with his long-range shooting, and he's found his calling as one of those prototype small ball fours. What a luxury for a staff to have a guard who can do this. Lillard able to elevate quickly for the Monster Jam. Burke kicks to Harris. For three. Baysmore grabs the miss. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Here's the pass to Lillard. Five to shoot. Good on the triple. Lillard's got 11. Yeah, I think the scouting report says you got to chase him off the three-point line. Not a good job defensively there, but a great job by Lillard to knock it down. Now, here's Burke. No points in the game yet for him. Down low. Here's Korkmaz. Headshot off. Now Portland takes it the other way. In the corner, Baysmore with it. And the Trailblazers, another three. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. And so it's Burke who brings up the ball for the 76ers. They lead by seven. Philadelphia moving the ball around. And the foul on Kent Baysmore. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. The first one at the line is good. And Portland making a change here. McCollum's checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Harris. Good on both. And doing a good job getting to the line and capitalizing. Trail Blazers trail by nine. Lillard finds McCollum. There's 37 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Little passes to Gasol. Over in the corner, Lillard. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Trailblazers. The 76ers leading by six. This passes to Burke. And O'Quinn kicks to Korkmaz. to O'Quinn over McCollum and misses it off the right side of the rim fires for three and another three for Portland well, CJ McCollum can go from second gear to fourth gear and back to second gear a defense's nightmare and so it's Benson's making highlights for the Philadelphia 76ers he put together quite a quarter 13 points in all and he looks to be planning for more We've got more in store for you right after this. James Ennis played in Australia, Puerto Rico, the G League. He talked about his NBA journey and his goals. Just to be a rotation player, um, I know I got better. I know I worked hard to get here, to stay here, and just be able to knock down a shot in a three. I want to shoot the ball 40% and above. And with the importance of the three ball nowadays, Greg, a great goal for Ennis. Uh, he possesses length and athleticism on the wing, and if he can reliably knock down the triple, he's a consistent rotation player in this league. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the 76ers, what are your thoughts? 
for me, that defense in the first period, just tremendous shot blocking. Yeah, that prevented some points, didn't it? Also, how you have that intimidation factor going early on, you wonder if in the fourth quarter they'll think back to the first. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the four for Portland, Lillard the one with McCollum at the two. Pau Gasol is out there with his own yet. And it's Little in at the three. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, Brett Brown coached the Sixers team through some really lean years. Now, the promise started to show last season, but he said, I don't feel close to the notion that we've arrived. I'm hardened, just doing my job and moving forward. Kevin? And continuing the process, D.A., thanks. Eight lead changes now, and we're still just in the first half. And I'm not sure I've seen a game with more lead changes this early. Now, here's Burke, offered by Lillard. From the arc. Another miss by Philadelphia. The Trailblazers have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Feeds it to Gasol. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now a three-point Trailblazer lead. Gasol doing a great job, Kevin, working down low in the phone booth and just finding enough room to get that one to go. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. No clue how he got that one to fall. For Philadelphia, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Zach Collins checked in for the Trailblazers. Hood comes in for Damian Lillard. That one falls for Burke. Brent, we're seeing a number of superstars sign shorter contracts with early opt-outs. Why have we seen that trend? Well, I think in some of those cases, the players are knowing that the opportunity for a, a larger cap in the successive years, they want the opportunity to maximize their earning potential. So seeing a Kevin Durant or a LeBron James sign a one-year deal or a one-plus-one, it gives them the opportunity to cash in a year later for the type of contract that they deserve, the maximum contract allowed. And here is Burke. Al Gasol getting his three to go. Burke finds O'Quinn. Outside, Scott. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Stolen by O'Quinn. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Maybe because of the lack of success on the teams that he's played on, Kyle O'Quinn and his abilities have gone unnoticed. But he has an excellent all-around game for a passing big in this league. That one falls for O'Quinn. Hey, Brent, you look at how Kyle O'Quinn got to this point. Mostly hard work and proving people wrong. Yeah, just one Division I scholarship offer out of high school. Ended up being a second-round pick and an unsung player who, who does a lot of things for you on the inside. Plays with tremendous passion. And uh, if I've heard correctly, he is the comedian in the locker room. So what else could you want, Kevin, besides some levity? Now, here's Hood. Order number two, around three minutes gone by. And finish off by Collins. Now, that's what you're going to get with Pau Gasol, a tremendous passer who's got his eyes up at all times. Burke looking over the floor. Pass to Korkmaz. Shot clock at six. Fires at the elbow. No good off the front eye. Trailblazers leading by three. Go 
closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. And the foul on Kyle O'Quinn. That is his first foul of the game. Little passes to Hood. Some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Unloads from 13. And Portland again with the bucket. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Now here's Burke. He's guarded by McCollum. Up top, Burke. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. McCollum outside. Back to Gasol. Now the feed to Collins. And the shot goes in. Collins has got the lead up to five now for the Trailblazers. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Rebounded by Hook. Portland leading by five. McCollum outside. And Portland again with the bucket. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Oh, and Nadine did not make that any easier. Can't fault a shooter for missing. That's a tough shot. Kent Bazemore is checked in for baddest one. The 76ers trail by seven. Simmons dishes to Burke. Back to Simmons. To the inside, Korkmaz. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And guys, really admire how Simmons finds the open man consistently. The, the vision, the unselfishness. That's what you want to see out of him. In the dunk by Bazemore. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. With Kent Bazemore, Brent, a lot of what he brings on the defensive end starts with his length, a very large, long arm span. Yeah, not a picnic for any guard that's trying to navigate around the length of Kent Bazemore. He's always had an impressive steal and block total as the seasons have gone on, and the ball handler doesn't ever feel quite comfortable shot, with Bays around. A free throw drop for Bazemore. And really it's hard to guard a guy like Bazemore because of how high he can get up. His athleticism is just boundless. And Simmons kicks to Richardson. High post and B. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Whiteside's checked in for Portland. Hassan, the top five rebounder and shot blocker, and he led the league in both categories in recent years. One of the most formidable big men in the league. Now here's Hood. And he drops it in from the low post. And the Trailblazers lead by eight. Yeah, and they're starting to warm up from the field this quarter. To the paint. And there's Horford. That's good on the assist by Simmons. Horford's got his first points in this one. 
Well, with Whiteside, a great rim projector, Brent, how do you deal with him as an opposing team? Well, the best thing you could do, Kevin, is pull him away from the basket. Don't let him sit in the restricted area. That means involving him in pick and rolls where your guards can get some momentum and get by him so that there's no rim protection around for you to get the finish. And stolen by Bazemore. To the middle. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And that's what you want to do with Whiteside. Feeding him the ball in the paint where he makes the defense collapse. Portland shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And when you look at their numbers from a season ago, 80% as a unit, Two that's something you'll be happy with. The first free throw is good. Interesting with the game shifting to the pace and space about where Whiteside fits into the puzzle. He is still a double-double threat down on the inside and can be taken advantage of on nights. Both good from the line that time. The 76ers trail by eight. Now here's Richardson. Simmons finds Harris. Simmons against McCollum. The shot's good from Gasol. Gasol's got nine points. You know, he didn't score the ball much in the first quarter, but he has been really, really solid during the second quarter. I expect a big game from him now. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And without a doubt, Rodney Hood is at his best when he's being aggressive. He doesn't settle for shots, and he looks to create and finish around the rim. Sometimes he can serve as a playmaker. That happened a lot when he was with the Utah Jazz under Quinn Snyder. Defense, Portland. And the foul on Kent Bazemore. That's his third foul of the game. You know, Hood can fall into settling for mid-range shots at times, Brent, but that isn't when he's his most effective. You no, know, a lot of players fall into playing passively, and, and Rodney Hood is sometimes guilty of that. The trick is finding ways to try to keep him aggressive, uh, make sure that he's impacting the game in ways that his skill set can draw it out. Now here is Harris. 13 points in the game. Just four to shoot. Whiteside has just such a physical advantage on the inside against most guys that want to bang down on the block. A nice contest there. Hood, the pass to McCollum. Back to Hood. With the floater. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. And Rodney Hood getting traded last season in part because, Greg, he was due for a big contract this last summer. And you just knew Hood would be a player a lot of teams threw offers at this year. Rare to find guards as tall as Hood who can shoot the way he can. Just entering his prime. And, and the contract this team gave him might be Find a bit lanes. of a gamble. But it's one that could pay What's off up? in a huge way if he keeps improving. That free throw good from Hood. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. The 76ers trail by 13. Richardson kicks to Simmons. Shoots over Bazemore. 
No good from Simmons. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebounded. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. The Trailblazers making a switch here. As Anya's checked in. Here's Simmons. 15 points in the game. Kicks it to Embiid. Pass to Harris. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Here's Horford. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Horford's got four points in the quarter. Well, if Horford was a doctor, that's where he'd operate. When he gets it like that, he's always money from there. Lillard against Simmons. Lillard with the bucket. Boy, have they gotten hot here in the second quarter. No wonder they're in front. And so the ball is out of bounds. Richardson touched it last. Some turnovers necessary. That one, not so much. And here's Lillard. He brings it up for the Portland Trail Blazers. It's a 13-point game. That shot off. Good work defensively by Horford. Here's Richardson. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Josh enjoying this and one opportunity. Good job finishing despite the defense knocking him around a bit. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Zach Collins checked in for Kent Bazemore. Josh Richardson continuing to develop his overall game has such good height at the two-guard spot. Trailblazers leading by 10. Now Lillard. 16 points for him. From 12 feet out. Good as the jump shot falls. Lillard's got 18 points consistent and accurate from that particular spot on the floor. The offense kind of predicts those shots. Lillard's got a good eye for the mid-range. MB finds Richardson and the foul called on Hassan Whiteside. It's his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. And the first one drops. And Richardson drops them both. Kevin, these are easy points. Remember, free throws. Trailblazers leading by 10. Lillard, the pass to Whiteside. He kicks it to Collins. Outside Hood lets it go from deep. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Simmons on the wing. Covered by Lillard. A fader. Count that as his seventh field goal in nine tries. He's shooting 78%. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. Now, here's Lillard. 18 points for him. First three of the quarter and third overall, guys. The defense might want to step up just a little bit on him from this point on. Richardson against Hood. Richardson kicks to Simmons. Over Lillard. And it's off the back rim. No good. Portland's gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Hood can't get it to go. The 76ers trail by 13. Harris looking it over. Pass to Simmons. Shoots over Lillard. Simmons missing again. 
Portland's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. And it's blocked by Simmons. Harris with it. He's got 13. Simmons inside. Covered by Lillard. Harris outside. Back to Richardson. Clock is at three. That three off the mark. Trailblazers leading by 13. Down low. They get a hand on it. And here comes Harris leading the fast break. Up top, Simmons. He shot three of five from the line. And a tough opening half for him in terms of his free throw shooting. He's off on the first. And, and forget about the miss for a moment and focus on the fact that he's done a great job putting pressure on the defense. He's off on the second. And the charity strike once again proving to be the Achilles heel for him. His free throws have been way off the mark. And so it's Portland in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Here with Brett Brown. Now, Coach, it seemed like you guys came out a little flat. How do you get some energy for the second half? You just got to go with the people that have energy. I feel like we are not the aggressors. We have to do whatever we're going to do through our defense, and so far it's been good. Brett, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. Leading the way at the start, it was Damian Lillard. He had 21 points, two assists, and one steal. What did you think about Portland, Kenny? Well, their three-point shooting has told the tale here tonight, fellas. They've been lights out from behind the arc. Whether it's coming off a high screen or pulling off the dribble, it seems like whatever they're doing, it's going correct. There's not a lot you can do when a team's got this hot from downtown. Shaq, what'd you think about Philadelphia? Well, they're obviously facing a hot shooting team tonight. That combined with a lackluster effort on defense, recipe for disaster. Without major improvements defensively, this game is O-V-A. Over. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. High above downtown Portland. You get the great idea of the beauty of the city, folks. Welcome back, everyone, to the Pacific Northwest. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Really an incredible game from Lillard. Yeah, and through two quarters, he's been lights out, and you know he's going to look to add to those totals. And defensively, hard to force him out of the rhythm at this point because he has a number of ways with which he can beat you. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Taking a look at the 76ers. They've got Harris. Richardson is out there with Ben Simmons. Then there's Embiid. And it's Horford in at the power forward. And it's sent back by Horford. Not in here. Just can't throw stuff up like that around Horford. He sends that one right back. Out left to the wing. 
The pass to Richardson, and the officials three. call him for a three-second violation. And becoming impatient, that's not how you're going to catch up. Yeah, that's a painful mistake there. All you can do is just shake that one off and try your best to move on to the next play. Collins with it, and it's Horford picking him up. Here's Whiteside. Collins kicks to Lillard. Shoots over Embiid. They get it again. Whiteside. And at last, they get one to fall. The deep on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Lillard comes with the double team. Stolen by McCollum. Lillard bounce pass. Let's it go from 14. McCollum, no good. Well, if they had an edge at halftime, they might have lost it beginning this half one of five. And we've seen just how incredible McCollum can be when he is feeling it. One of the few guards in the league who gets everything to fall when his shot is on. It's why he can just erupt with huge scoring nights at any given time. When you consider just how long and how big Whiteside is down there, it's not surprising that shot blocking is something he does well. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Alert against Simmons. Five on the clock. Gotta admire the hard work by Simmons. A, a genius at drawing contact. This will make five trips now to the free throw line for him tonight. Shoot two. That's good from Simmons. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And Whiteside's got the ball here for the Portland Trail Blazers. In the second half, they've only given up one basket coming from the free throw line. That one wide left. Yeah, tonight his shot's been a bit off, but still, they lead the game. And Simmons slams it in. And the variety that Simmons offers is huge. It's pretty much pick your poison with him. Here's Willard. Right side. Collins kicks to McCullough. Willard against Simmons. Hood for three, and it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got three assists in the game. Richardson against McCollum. Lillard comes with the double team. He gets that one. 22 points for Ben Simmons. Really like watching Simmons go to work down low with his length and strength. There aren't many guys that can keep up with him. To the paint, out to Hood. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Harris has got five rebounds tonight. Passes it to Richardson. Over McCollum. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Richardson's got nine. Nice job, Richardson, playing now in the mid-range. That tells me his offensive game is showing confidence. Outside hood to the middle. And the basket by McCollum. He's got 14. Up by a bunch. He's still pushing the action, trying to impose his will. Well, collectively, they've done it tonight here. A passionate performance from the squad. And the 76ers call time here. McCollum, one of the best shooters in the NBA. Any range, Brent, any shot, he can knock it down. Yeah, a little bit of a down year in 18 for Lillard, but the way that he can score and the efficiency with which he can score is just remarkable. I really like to watch the pace he plays with, Kevin. I mean, he, he finds spots on the floor to get to uh, and has that length and, and kind of never sped up sort of mentality on the offensive end becomes very, very dangerous.
So for the Trailblazers, Saul comes in for Collins. And it's Kent Bazemore in for Rodney Hood. Now here's Burke. Tight defense on him. He's covered by Bazemore. Forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. And Portland has possession. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. McCollum outside. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got his fourth assist in this one. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Now, here's Burke. Five points in the game. Kicks it to O'Quinn. Shoots over Bazemore. Gasol with the rebound. Gasol's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. There's the three. And the Trailblazers, another three. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooters. The 76ers trail by 20. And here is Burke. Pass to Korkmaz. He is guarded by McCollum. And stolen by Bazemore. Inside. Got a piece of it. Here's Lillard, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Lillard's got 23 points. Now he's a heady player. He knows how to get himself going and giving his team a real advantage right now on the offensive end. To stop the run, and it's sent back by Lillard. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And the basket by McCollum. Now Lillard becoming better at staying patient, knowing that at any point in a possession, he can take advantage of somebody. That time, he found the open man. Timeout called the 76ers. Last season, Damian Lillard continuing to put up big numbers. Took a while for him to find his groove, but he eventually got there. Yeah, a lot of chatter last year about Lillard switching up his diet, going vegan for a little while, and then he, he switched, switched back. Uh, said he was losing a little bit too much in terms of his, his total body weight and felt like he needed to get some of that strength back. Korkmaz dishes it to Burke. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Shot to stop the run. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. It goes on C.J. McCollum. Let's shot. That free throw good from Korkmaz. Portland leading by 21. And Lillard kicks to McCulloch. Pass to Whiteside. Back to McCollum. Let's it go with the three. He can't get that one. And Philadelphia the other way now. Now here's Burke. He's got five. 
the pass to Korkmaz. Offline with his three. Portland's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Baysmore finds McCollum. Shot from 16, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. McCollum's got nine points now in the quarter. And no one's slowing him down tonight. McCollum just too focused with this matchup. Burke, the pass to O'Quinn, and O'Quinn slams it in. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Now Whiteside. He's got six. Back to McCollum. Six to shoot. Shoots from 12. Again, the Trailblazers score. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. And stolen by Whiteside. Hazemore with it. He kicks it to Lillard. Shoots over Burke. And off the front iron. And in it goes. And that's now 25 points for Damian Lillard. And it's Burke with the ball for Philadelphia. And Gasol sends it back. Got to respect the reach and length of Pau Gasol. Outstanding job of skying up for that rejection. Portland leading by 23. Here's Lillard. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Burke with it. Lillard picks him up. Baseline try. A rebound by Gasol. Gasol's got his fifth rebound in this one. Well, his struggles are consuming the rest of the team here tonight. He's got to find his rhythm and find it fast. Is it possible his sweet touch is getting sweeter, guys? And Philadelphia calls time here. Pau Gasol, not the same player Brenny once was, but he still knows how to get the job done. Yeah, 2001 is when it is that Pau Gasol came into the NBA as a, as a very slightly built Spaniard for the Memphis Grizzlies. But the skill was on display from the very start. He's had a Hall of Fame career, a two-time champion, and you know, one of the best and most skilled players to play that position in the last 20 years. For the Trailblazers. Hezania, he's checked in for Whiteside. And Battis one subbed in for C.J. McCollum. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Ben Simmons comes in for Korkmaz. Now here's Burke. He has five. Up top, Simmons. He's covered by Bazemore. A floater. And Simmons with the layup. Simmons got 24 points. And Simmons is so deft with the floater, freezing the D completely. And now, here's Hizonia, defended by Scott. Baysmore for three. A shot, no good. And Philadelphia the other way now. Now, here's Burke, guarded closer. Simmons feeling it out a bit. Second chance shot, and that one's good. Burke. Burke's got seven. And this is what happens when you fail to block out. Defensive rebounding just as important as causing the miss in the first place. Now here's Bazemore. He's got six. Back to Hezonia. And finish off by Hezonia. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. 
And here is Simmons. He's got 24. To the inside. MB. Rejected by Gasol. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Zach Collins checked in for the Trailblazers. And the 76ers making a change here. Here's Simmons. And the layup's good off the glass. He's got 26. They are just killing him on the interior. Portland leading by 22. One thirty-five left to play in the third. And Bazemore kicks to Lillard. And it's Hazania with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Philadelphia shooting well. 50% from the floor. Right side, Simmons. Shoots over Lillard. No good from Simmons. No doubt disappointed with that one. He'd love to have that one back. Yeah, I'd put that play on repeat. The setup was perfect. Just need a better result next time. Here's Battis one. He has five. Pocket six. And Lillard kicks it to Bazemore. Portland needs to get off the shot. And it's Lillard missing. The 76ers shooting it quite well in this third quarter. 53% and the offense is rolling. No good from Simmons. Portland's gone to the three-point shot eight times already in the second half and hit four of them. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Hood's checked in. And here are the 76ers now. Simmons left side. Second shot opportunity. And the layup is good. And that's now six points for Horford. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half. And that's a great way to cut into the lead. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Azania. Bazemore for three. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. If they can just hold this now for the last shot. Right. No need to give the ball back here. Run the clock down. Be patient. And run a decent play. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit's still large, but now not insurmountable. Well, the run simply has given them a chance. Great work on both ends. They've got to now ratchet up a notch. And so it's Portland with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. They've got a big advantage in the turnover stats because of their intense defense. We come back right after this. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feat. The well, coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Addis went out there with Hazonia. Then it's Rodney Hood. Then there's Kent Bazemore. And it's Collins in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Richardson kicks to Harris. Six on the shot clock. The shot, no good. So the Trailblazers will take it the other way. Bazemore on the wing. Richardson cover. Bazemore finds Hood. Simmons with the defensive effort. The defensive reaction time, it was just immediate on that. And sometimes the most important part of that is the angle that the defender chooses. That time, he chose wisely. Well, he's like a fumbling banker right now, dropping dimes with ease. I like how well he led his teammate on that possession. Passes it to Hazania. 
Back to Hood. From deep, an absolute bomb from three-point range. And the Trailblazers lead by 19. He's more against Simmons. To the middle, here's Harris. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, Tobias, too strong. Gets inside, not going to be denied. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Kicks to Collins. Hood against Simmons. A three ball. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Horford's got four rebounds now tonight. Simmons on the wing. Here's Embiid. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got six assists now in the game. He's been accurate tonight. I think the best way for them to succeed is to get him more shots. Sounds simple, but it comes down to execution. Little passes to Hazania. Good on the baseline, Jay. Well, he's like a carpenter out there. Great floor awareness. Zipping the ball over to his teammates with ease. Outside, Simmons. Pass to Harris. And stolen by his own young. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Here's Pattis one, guarded by Harris. Little passes to Collins. Pocket six, Hood for three. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Pass to Simmons. And here's Harris from the arc. And the three ball is good. Harris has got six in the quarter. I mean, letting that guy shoot freely from out there, he's going to destroy you from the perimeter if you do that. Now, here's Baysmore. In the corner, Collins with it. Richardson against Baysmore. Here's Hazania. Unable to get that one. Good work defensively by Horford. The 76ers trail by 13. Outside, Simmons. And there's the pass to Embiid. Buries it down low. When a guy is capable of so many things like that on the offensive end, anytime you lose sight of him, he's got a huge advantage. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. And last year, we saw what a full season of MB looks like. I mean, scary to think that this is just the beginning of his career. He looks like he can go down as one of the greats to play if he can stay healthy. Right sides checked in for the Trailblazers. Colin comes in for baddest one. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Terry Stotts went over with his team. He told them the lead we've got is good, but we can be better. Take it to him. Stay on the accelerator. Looks like he wants them to keep pushing it, guys. 
Bazemore gets the bucket. And Embiid has already made the jump from star to superstar. And part of that is his personality. I, I think his game does speak for itself. Gives you everything you want from a center on both ends of the floor. Effortless athleticism and has incredible skill and touch for a player his size. Pays more against Richardson. McCollum outside. Back to Baysmore. Trying his luck deep. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. McCollum's got six assists in the game. And Simmons has got the ball here for Philadelphia. Charity stripe shot. Hassan Whiteside grabs the miss. Trailblazers leading by 15. Now Baysmore. McCollum outside. And stolen by Simmons. Sweet little floater. Simmons got 11 points here in just the second half. Ah, that floater is a thing of beauty. Effective when it's used the right way. And Bazemore kicks to McCollum. Puts it up from 12. He squares up and sinks it. McCollum's got 25 points. Just like it when he gets in there. McCollum using his wingspan to take advantage. Simmons dishes to Richardson. Back to Simmons. Good ball movement here by the 76. That one's in there. The trailblazer lead is cut down now to just 12 on the basket from Richardson. And as they're trailing in this game, they're trying to stay in it with the triple. They're shooting a lot more of them than they did in the first half. McCollum kicks to Whiteside. Kicks it out to McCollum. Down to five on the shot clock. And a wide open look for Hood. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. 16 points for Rodney Hood. The 76ers trail by 15. Richardson the bounce pass. To the paint. And stolen by Whiteside. Counts. Count it. And the Trailblazers lead by 17. And where's the fight defensively? I mean, you know you need stops to stop the bleed. Yeah, down by double digits, failing to shut down the lane. It has been a rough night. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Hazemore finds Whiteside. Over Horford. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Eight points for House on Whiteside. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Simmons dishes to Richardson. Passes it to Embiid. To the paint. And stolen by Bazemore. Here's McCollum. Simmons pulls it in. Simmons got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And he banks in the layup. Harris has got ten points in the quarter. This is a guy whose mindset just never changes. Even when they're losing, he's always going to be aggressive. McCollum kicks it to Bazemore. And the Trailblazers, another three. Not shot from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and hitting them up. Richardson against McCollum. Stolen by McCollum. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. Here's Baysmore. And it's blocked by Simmons. It's Richardson on the wing. He feeds it to Embiid. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Gentlemen, two shots, two shots. The free throw drops for MB. 
Well, few have more job security in the NBA than Terry Stotts. Consistently gets a ton out of his Portland Trailblazer team. They run a very intricate and unique offense now in his seventh year with the Blazers. They've had a lot of success under Coach Stotts. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Lillard's checked in, and MB drops them both. And with Terry Stotts last year, there were some rumblings about his job after the sweep. Might have been a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. Remember, Portland slid into that third seed uh, with how close it was in the Western Conference, and that might have added a bit more pressure. But Portland does not have a lot of flexibility with their roster. Somehow, Terry Stotts gets to 50 wins in any given year. Uh, so it might have been a poor decision, and they saw through that, and he's back for this season. And that one's good, Burt. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, that's good signs. And Lillard kicks to McCullough. Pass to Collins. And it's Hood in the corner. Six to shoot. McCollum outside. From deep three-point range. The shot misses. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Richardson gets a wide open look. It's good. The assist that time from Burke. A good sense right there of Richardson understanding space and that he could get there. Nice pull up. Now here's Lillard. Burke covering. And Lillard kicks to McCullough. to Whiteside. No good on that one. Good work defensively by Horford. And it's Burke with the ball for the 76ers. Trailing by 13. Out to the wing. Here's Embiid. Hassan Whiteside grabs the miss. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it and you're starting to see the assist pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Full speed ahead. I mean, they have been in control since the opening tip, and that may have sealed the deal. I can imagine a lot of things right now, but a comeback, that's not one of them. Timeout called the 76ers. They're behind by 15. 133 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, C.J. McCollum. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Here's MB. Here's Harris. And he uses the glass on the layup. Harris has got 12 now in this quarter. Such a smooth scorer. Tobias Harris making that look easy. Richardson against McCollum. Deciding where to go with it. MB with the steal. Simmons inside. Covered by Lillard. Shots good by Simmons. And at 6'10", a player like Simmons, to handle the ball the way he does, that's just unfair. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for the Trailblazers. 
this is a game where the defense, you know, steal specifically, generating a lot of opportunities. And it created possessions for them, scoring opportunities, and that effort a big part of what will be a nice victory here tonight. And while there was some nice performances tonight, it definitely ended up being a solid outing for C.J. McCollum. That unselfishness was on full display here tonight. Did a great job of getting his teammates going. Alert against Simmons. A three from McCollum and the Trailblazers. Another three. And this is how you close out a game, not taking any chances. Yeah, you got to be relentless in this game or the tide can turn on you. Not here, not tonight. This is not the team we've been watching for most of the night. Uh, it's a shame because this is the team we expected to see fighting on every possession. I think it's just too late. He kicks it to Collins. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Back to McCollum. Shot clock at six. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And here are the 76ers now. Simmons with it. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Damian, it looks like this team's progress can be measured by your improvement at the defensive end. Do we see that tonight? Um, we, we made some mistakes, like every other basketball team does, but I think we did a great job of making adjustments. You know, we got a little more physical. Um, you know, we did a great job of that. And that led to a big win, Damian. Thanks for your time, man. Kevin? David, thank you as always. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. So long.